Hey guys, it's Ruby back again with all your news and updates for Las Vegas, this time for the month of January. I typically do not do a January update as I did just release my what's new for 2024, covering pretty much the whole year. However, tons of information has come out. I have a lot of Super Bowl updates, some big stuff to report on, and I didn't want to wait to deliver the news to you guys. So we're doing one here at the beginning of the year. Before I get started on all of the info, if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do. It helps my channel grow. I also have a slot channel. I don't know how many of you guys know about this. If you wanna go follow Ruby Slots, we upload every single day. We just have a ton of fun. It's casual, we play slots. I hope to see you guys all there. Oh, bad news for everybody who enjoys the Bellagio Fountains. Once again, they are going to be obstructing the view. So they are going to be building this big sports center for the Super Bowl where they're going to be doing some announcing and reporting outside of it right in front of the fountains. And we can expect some more closures. So currently you can walk through there as of the time I'm recording this, but they did close a lane directly in front because they're going to be bringing construction cranes to start building the structure. They have said that they are for sure going to be closing walking in this area, but it's going to be after the Super Bowl when they're going to be taking it down. So just know that if you're coming from now until mid-February, there are going to be construction cranes. There's going to be stuff in front of the Bellagio Fountains yet again. I hope that they don't keep doing this for every sporting event. And along with the Bellagio Fountains, the volcano has shut down yet again. I think it was open for a couple days and then they closed it again because Paramount Mountain is going to be built on top of the Mirage Volcano. This is like a ski chalet thing and they're going to be promoting Paramount Pictures because they are one of the sponsors of the Super Bowl. So a lot of changes. This is exciting for those who are coming for Super Bowl weekend, but be aware that there's construction happening on Strip yet again. Wu-Tang Clan has announced a residency at Virgin Theaters and it begins Super Bowl weekend. It goes through February and also into March. So plenty of dates for you to book if you wanna check out Wu-Tang. The World Series of Poker dates have been announced. The WSOP is gonna be at the Horseshoe and Paris again this year, and it's May 28th through July 17th. The Venetian has unveiled a brand new lobby bar, 118 Sala, after the Islands of Venice, as well as a brand new Starbucks location in their lobby. This is just a start to an absolutely massive renovation going to be happening at the Venetian. They've said all areas of the property are going to be touched by this. We're talking rooms, pool, casino. I think putting a Starbucks in the lobby was incredibly smart. It is a huge property and they needed another location and now a new lobby bar. Miracle Mile has announced Miracle Mile Eats. This is a food hall that they're going to be adding into the shopping center. It's not gonna be here until the end of 2024. The restaurants have been yet to be announced and they have not said where this is going in Miracle Mile. They better not close the already awesome cheap restaurants that are in Miracle Mile because it's already known as a great place to grab cheap food. And I'm hoping it's not gonna be another food hall that, let's face it, are not that cheap. While we're on talks of the Miracle Mile shops, inflation is hitting us yet again. La Salsa has raised that breakfast to $7 now. It originally was $5 flat. Uh, a lot of the cheap deals are getting attacked by these prices. The sign is up for Whataburger and Perry's Pizza. These are gonna be the two restaurants right outside of the Waldorf Astoria that are set to open this year. They've cleared out a lot of that scaffolding. It looks a lot easier to walk now and they're almost done with construction. This crazy 3D sign opened up at the Waldorf Astoria. This thing looks so wild. I don't know why it's there, but I do know it looks amazing. Las Vegas Clark County Commissioners passed an ordinance banning stopping on the pedestrian bridges with up to a thousand dollar fine. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of clickbait on this and people freaking out. Here's the thing. This is meant to kind of stop some of the busking and the people selling water. F1 was kind of their excuse to be able to pass this ordinance. If you're a tourist and you're looking out on the bridge and you're stopping to take a picture, Nobody's gonna bother you. It's really not about you, I promise. They just are trying to kind of clear these walkways of all the stuff that happens on them and make it a safe place for people to walk from spot to spot. MGM will be renovating 
all of their rooms. I know we reported on this a little bit, but the West Tower got all of their rooms redone. They also changed the name because the West Tower is kind of like notorious for people being like, oh, these rooms are horrible. They've changed it to the Studio Tower now, I think it's called. The main rooms are huge, but they have been looking a little dated. I think it's great that they're gonna freshen those up. Old Red is set to open this month. I feel like we blinked and they have got like the entire outer area done. They've torn down a lot of the scaffolding. It's a lot nicer to walk around in that area now. They still have a ways to go inside. It looks like they're working like crazy. I can't believe how much is done, but they're hiring. And hopefully by the end of this month, we'll be able to check out Old Red, a three-story honky-tonk bar with a rooftop, live music, dancing. I mean, what more can you want? It looks great. The Christmas Conservatory at Bellagio closes January 7th, and it will be reopening as the Lunar New Year this year on the 13th. Lunar New Year typically lasts pretty long. It goes until we have the Spring Conservatory. It's always a really popular one. They do a really great job with this, so very excited to see the new display. Two major hotels opened in December. Fountain Blue, the big mega giant hotel on Strip opened. It is very far north. It's huge. It's beautiful. They have a bunch of restaurants in here. Don's Prime. It was really good. I have a whole video on this one if you want to check that out. And the Durango, a new local favorite for us when it comes to gambling with a really great food court. Once again, we also have a video on this one if you guys are interested in seeing two new properties. A lot of progress has come to the Boulevard. This is going to be the shopping center that is set to open in fall of 2024. And I hope that the camera picks up just how big this shopping center is going to be when it's done. It spans so far across the strip, all the way from that Tex-Mex spot to where BrewDog and the CVS is there. So it's just filling a huge gap. That Tex-Mex is still there, but it is closed. The only thing open there right now is that fake pot store. So hopefully that'll be gone soon and that'll be torn down to make the Tillman Fertitta Hotel. Hiring is currently taking place for Atomic Golf. This is the new golf experience over at the Strap. It's very similar to Top Golf, where they have these hitting bays and fancy bars and lounges. That is set to open this month in January. Talks of new pedestrian bridges coming to the North Strip. Now, there's already one currently in the works over by the convention center, but the commissioner of Clark County has said that they'd like to add more. They would like to add one over by Fountain Blue and Resorts World just to bring more walking traffic, make it easier for pedestrians to get to and from these North Strip properties. Now that they're building up over on that side, they want to see the traffic coming all the way down that way. And when people have to cross a busy street, it can be a little off-putting. So this is nice to see. Hopefully we can have some growth North Strip. The McDonald's at the Plaza closed. It's closed right now and all they have is some like slots in front of it. I don't know what they're gonna add there. I hope another cheap eats option because I do like all of the affordable food that they have to offer there. The El Cortez is opening a Starbucks. They are gonna close that subway that's tucked into the corner and they're gonna open the Starbucks. I think this is excellent. A great place to grab a quick breakfast, a cup of coffee over at El Cortez. Ramsey's Kitchen at Harrah's closed briefly, claiming a refurbishment, and it's already reopened. So don't know what needed to be flipped over and changed quickly, but it's already back to normal. Opium has officially closed inside of the Cosmopolitan. The good news is, is a new Spiegel World show is coming this year. It's gonna be a disco theme. TI is adding a brand new bar. The Cove Bar and Arcade is located right outside of the pool, and the Avenger station is no longer selling tickets. Rumors are that is closing and is going to be replaced with some sort of pirate theme. I personally just wish they could bring the free pirate show back outside of the front of Treasure Island. Some maybe good or bad news to my Cosmo Identity members. The switch to MGM Rewards was meant to take place on February 1st, and guess what? They're delaying it yet again. A lot of Identity members are very concerned about their comps, and so... As of right now, no need to worry. I will report more when I hear more. And in more MGM news, they changed their parking rates at all of their locations. It's a few dollars each, although I know that can add up fast. Um, just know that for locals, it's still free for the first three hours. Anyone who's MGM Gold or above or has the MGM credit card can still park at their locations for free. 
Nicki Minaj is coming to Las Vegas. She will be having a show at the T-Mobile Arena in March, and you can get tickets for that now. CES will be here in January the 9th through the 12th, and we will, of course, be attending. This takes place at the Venetian and the Las Vegas Convention Center. January is set to bring pretty chilly temperatures in terms of Las Vegas. We had an unusually warm December, but January is looking like usual. We're talking mid-50s. It's still fairly pleasant, but I personally like to wear a hoodie, maybe a coat. We are definitely in the talks of doing another group poll. I know you guys really enjoy these. Uh, I'm trying to pull some strings and get one together for you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the slot channel. I'm going to be doing the announcing over there. That's where those get uploaded and that's where we set those up. So subscribe to Ruby Slots. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys all in my next video.